This is a hundred taka note of Bangladeshi currency taka. So, suppose I want to go out with my friends and have a treat away with them with this hundred taka, and I want to give them a treat, okay? And suddenly I see a crying kid on the road. She is suffering from hunger for at least three days. Whether it's good for me or not, can't I give that kid this money for eating something rather than giving my friends a treat? Because none of my friends suffer from hunger or poverty or none of my friends did never face this kind of thing that they did not eat a single time a day. So, this money is deserved by that kid. I will give that kid the money and she will buy something for her and for her family and they will eat food. That will be a blessing for me and she will pray to Allah for me so that I can live long. That is really a great dua for me and I will be a great man to her, a great human being to her. So isn't this the great achievement rather than feeding your friends, treating your friends? Yeah, of course this is. Our today's topic is giving is good. So, as I talked about that I want to give the girl a hundred taka note so she can buy something for her, this is one kind of giving. I just gave you an example. The same way, when Ramadan comes, Muslims, they give zakat to poor people, they donate money, they give different kinds of things to the poor people for helping them. Not only during Ramadan, can't you do this the whole year? I'm not telling you to give people one lakh or one crore or one thousand or ten thousand taka. I'm telling you that if you have something, if you have a quite amount of money like 50 taka or 100 taka that you are using for buying your lipsticks or buying anything that is not that much useful for you but you want it for your satisfaction. So you do not need that money and as you have to spend it, you can donate that money. Yeah, in my bank, I have saved a huge amount of money. I broke my bank a few days ago and I want to donate the money to the mosque of my village. I also want to donate the money to half of the money to the orphanage because many people, they do not have parents and they are just admitted to the orphanage. Those children, they do not have any kind of like good amount of food or good quantity or good value of food. They do not get really nice clothes to wear like us. They are not that much solvent like us. So we should help them because those children need love and affection yeah not only children when you go to your schools or when you go to your offices did you never see a beggar or did you never see people who are living in the streets or slums yes of course you have seen them especially in dhaka the heart of the country Bangladesh is becoming a really developed country and our Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is also trying a lot to improve poverty and to damage poverty from the country. But still, poverty has not gone that much. When I see the people, the old people whose sons left them in old homes or whose, who are not cared that much, those old women who suffer from fever during really cold winter, they do not get any kind of good place to sleep, their lungs get infected by cold. What about those? Yeah, you cannot help everyone, but you can help someone. Like me, I once was taking two taka notes in my hand that if a beggar comes by, I will give that person those two taka. Then a old woman came here and she asked money and I suddenly instantly gave the money to her and she was saying that, Oh my God, my dear, you prepared this money for me the whole time from the very beginning. I did not know. May God bless you a lot, a lot, a lot. I will pray for you, dear. So that prayer was a great dua for me, was a great blessing for me. I received a huge amount of love from her. And we can buy different kinds of pickles in our school with those two taka only. So if I did not buy that pickle and give the money to the beggar, then wouldn't that be great? Yes, that would. 
So, I'm telling you that giving is good and you should start giving from your very own childhood, then it will become a habit. And the habit of giving is really good. Those who have the habit of giving, those of you who have the habit of giving, you guys are genius, you guys are super duper cool because you have affection for people, you love your country. As I told you that when I want to be a prime minister, not only prime ministers, but also normal citizens have affection for the other citizens of the country and as so I also do like that and when I see very old people in the streets and very old women and men on the streets I just like cry and sometimes I see that women are tortured sometimes and the very very newborn kids their mother do not eat food for three to ten days or three to seven days so they also do not get any milk from their mother because their mother even don't have any kind of nutrition in the body so how come will those newborn childs get any kind of nutrition in their body they need to have breast milk up to their two and a half years so where are from where from are they gonna get the breast milk no one is going to help them right but if you are good human beings if you are good people you raise your voice raise your strength and you start donating i'm not telling you to give one lakh or one crore or more than that or one thousand or five hundred taka to everyone every single person i'm telling you to give as much as you want as much as you can your own benefit you have to also take care of your own benefit and then give someone and then donate someone yeah the dresses which are very small for me my childhood dresses i have donated them in the manobatar wall yeah there is a manobatar wall which means the wall of humanity i donate them in that wall and people take my clothes from that wall and they get good dresses just like me i feel really happy yesterday i gave Two, two dozens of dresses to the wall of humanity and you know what when I reached the wall after a few minutes I saw there are no clothes there because people took them away so you think that how much needy they are yeah our school also donates different kinds of blankets and cold clothes to the people who suffer from cold so it's also a duty of you because you are a human being and you are a banda of allah so you have to serve the other people including you your family your parents and your loved ones so thank you everyone for watching my video until the end Inshallah, I'll come up with a very beautiful and a very heart feeling topic next time. Till then, keep your eyes on my videos and love people, donate money to people, and give. Bye bye. Apna Shandan Apna Katse, Ekti Shop No, Ekti Projon Mo, Ekti Bangladesh. He, Deshgara Protai Protishito Huete, Boss, Bangladesh Online School. We shape future. For admission, please call or SMS to 162 000 4200.